setting up an SRX 800 receiver to view temperature pressure tags. Once you've physically connected your receiver with your computer, press the USB key and then log on over here on the right hand side. You should see USB and then either setup or data log scan. If you have if it's in data log scan, select the small red button with the white square inside. Okay, and another thing you have to do is you go to your data download panel and get rid of these small status counts and we're going to reset the data memory and go yes. If you have actual data on board, please download before you reset the data memory. Press exit and then we now have no data on board we're in setup and we have the USB connected and logged on go to project editor and then go live you're on your scan settings page make sure that you either select low tech 3 or 5 for your sensors low tech 3 is the most common one set your scan time to a half a second longer than the burst interval of your tags I'm going to use 6 seconds because uh, I have five and a half second tags and I'm gonna make sure that uh, I have nothing else on there so these are all unchecked and then I'm gonna go and send it to my receiver okay so I'm gonna say done gave me a little warning about antennas so I'm gonna go to frequency and channels next I'm going to send in 139.100 and it'll assign its own channel number and the tag type I'm going to write down sensor and then I'm going to hit the green fast forward button and I'm going to put it into the middle here so I have one active channel with sensor capability and I'm going to send it to the receiver and then I'm going to go done those are warning messages about the antenna which I'm setting up now and it's a D type so I've selected this if you have an MD or M type select the top radio button and I have four antennas in this so I'm going to just put one I'm going to set my gain at 50 good idea if you've got an MD or M M2 set it about 70 in this case I'm going to just increase that to 70 but you'll have to test these out so I'm going to send this to the receiver and I'm going to press done again that was a warning message about your sensor settings um, so I've got one antenna filter settings no filters I'm going to uncheck pulse width and uncheck signal strength deviation because that is more for beeper type tags and then I'm going to go and send that to the receiver and I have to say done again it's still warning me about the sensors and now finally I'm gonna to go to the sensor setting it's gonna say low tech 3 and then I'm gonna add my temperature first it's gonna set a maximum and a minimum minus 6 and 34 and there's 50 levels and then I'm gonna select my pressure and this is uh, when it really depends on uh, what kind of pressure sensor if you have a maximum of 50, 50 PSI, then you would leave it as such. But if it's 15 PSI, just key in 15, and it'll give you 15 PSI, broken into 50 increments. Now make sure, very important, send to your receiver. Now it's not going to give me any more error messages. So we're going to just check the last page of the configuration it's sleep schedule just make sure these are all all check marked off and that means it's going to be recording for 24 hours a day so press OK because I haven't made any changes on this page and it's going to ask me to save this it's a great idea to do so this is your default configuration I'm just going to type in 555 for mine and save it and now all you have to do is start data logging and 
you should be seeing on the screen in a moment by pressing live view it'll just show you this um, antenna number one your gain and your frequency but you'll also be seeing the bright codes the tag ID should show up in this column and your power level should be maxed if you're in the office and then it'll give you sensor values and sensor type right here 